Welcome to America. We're in America and people love to, in my opinion, wrongly slate football or soccer culture here in America. It's low hanging fruit, I think. I think it's easy to moan rather than actually just try and experience something. So that's what we're here to do today. We're here to take in a soccer match and experience here and showcase to you what an MLS experience is really like. Anyway. And don't forget to test again tomorrow. The ladies just, will be in town. Anyway, today is a massive game. And here's why. Today we're at the Exploria Stadium, which has a capacity of 25,000 fans. People were skeptical when Orlando first got their MLS expansion saying it wouldn't work. Safe to say they were wrong, because from what I can see, the fans are incredible. And I hope that we see more of that today. And I'm also very excited because we're going to see Alexandra Pato today. There's some of the away fans there. Boo. Are you lost? It's also tempting to beg for Alexander Pato's shirt today, but I'm 24 years of age, so I won't do that. If you're watching this though, <laughs> their opponents today, as we've just seen, are Charlotte FC. They're in their inaugural season in MLS, which historically is an uphill battle for most sides. This has been the case this season so far. It's not gone overly well for them, whereas Orlando are doing quite well this season. So it's going to be interesting to see how the match goes. But to be honest, for the first time this season, I'm not really here. Obviously, we're here for the match, but the stakes aren't what I want to hear about. I want to see the fans and the experience and what it means to be a fan of a soccer side. So. Let's get around, let's have a look around the stadium, and then we're gonna join a tailgate for an authentic MLS experience. Let's do this. So as I said, we're gonna do an authentic MLS match day experience today, which brings us to the Broken Strings Brewery and Tap Room, which is right there, right near Orlando's ground. We've got Jeff there, who is, um, our contact from Orlando. He's wearing the Away Day shirt we brought out two years ago as well, which is modelled by yourself. And we're going to soak in a proper MLS experience. You've got a beer. It's really nice. It's a nice beer. What is the beer? Mango or something. Mango or something beer. Well, I said, what should I get if I don't really like beer? And I was given this. That's really nice. So there we go. We're going to get inside there. We're going to have a few beers with the, the, the fans. We're going to probably march to the stadium as well. Have a great time. And by the time you next see us, we are going to be plastered. How are you doing, Jeff? We've got the Away Day shirt on. Very well, thank you. It's a beautiful shirt, don't you find? It looks good on everything. Yeah, you, you're pulling it off superbly as well. Orlando match day, what should I expect? First off, we have tailgate in the back that I'm going to take, take you to next. Uh, match day about 6.30, we'll get inside. I think you and I are going to be part of bringing the TIFO up tonight. Really? Nice. If not, we'll be cheering for it. How different is a match day in America to Europe? What should I expect? Well, I noticed when I was in, at Chelsea back in 82, you paid your pound, you walked into the shed end, you got there 15 minutes before kickoff, players came out, life was good. Here, we're here, uh, people got here at noon, so they've been here for six hours tailgating, eating, drinking. We'll get into the stadium about an hour prior to kickoff. They have happy hour for the first half hour. Beers are five dollars a piece, that kind of stuff. Oh, and we're allowed alcohol inside the stadium. Nice drinks, beers, food. I think you will be surprised at the quality of the. We don't have steak pie, so we won't <laughs> be on your competition for pies. But we have everything from pizza to roast beef sandwiches. So Jeff, you've given me a lanyard to put around my neck. Can you explain what the lanyard means? So we have supporter groups in America. You have to pay your dues, literally, and become a supporter, and then the team allows you to do neat stuff like yep. they reserve the first five rows in the wall which is a standing terrace that we have we were the first club to bring that back in the united states so we've, we've arrived at the tailgate there's a lot um as people play in what do you call this game it's called cornhole because cornhole. corn pellets are in the bags all that that england too is cornhole mean the same thing well i don't know what does cornhole mean i have no idea well, when your camera's off yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right. so now I'm at one point, you're at zero. Oh, you beauty! What a headshot! What a hit! Go on then, Jody, show us how the cornhole's done. You can't step past the line. Let me get that out from your feet, we're fouling you. Oh, you've rimmed it. And then, for example, for England, that's also a term we can't say. So we're just now walking from the tailgate and we're just looking at the stadium is there in the distance. The stadium looks really cool. Jeff, like, if there was one thing as, a, as an Orlando City regular what would be the one thing that you would want people to take away from watching an experience about what it's like at an mls game i think we talked about it, the diversity well, when when i went to when i've been to games in greece germany england latin america it's all men sorry there's a chicken right here <laughs> sorry we're taking over a very nice chicken 
What do you think? Because in England, there's quite a few people who are quite um, sceptical about MLS, right? And US soccer fans, right? Um, but I think it's gatekeeping because what, in one breath, people moan that the US's main sport isn't football, but in the other breath, they moan at how the US fans embrace the sport. So what, what, what would you say about that? Because you're, you're, you're a USMNT fan as well, right? So We have 330 million people in our country, and let's say 30 million of them, soccer is their number one sport, which would put us as a, a major European power. Yeah. I mean, France, Germany, and England have more people than that, but Belgium, the Netherlands, so the other countries, Switzerland, yeah. Sl Slovakia, those countries have less than our soccer culture. And I think you will see, we said it in the 80s, we said it in the 90s, but I think you will see this this World Cup team and our next World Cup team. I feel like more and more people are now accepting it. You've got like Jesse Marsh, is now Leeds, fat, Leeds manager. U.S. He's soccer was on the- on ESPN every night. It was we like- We talk about him constantly. He's an American hero. And you know, Captain America. Yeah. Who scores at 90 minutes plus last week for Chelsea to win yeah. the game. I mean, that's front page news here, even in Orlando and even in some non-soccer cities. That's a big deal. I think if we look back at this video in five years time, the sport would have boomed in America. There's more of the tailgate. And we're a bit, what is this? What, this, this thing's called the British. This is the British Pavilion. We and you toast the Queen here. May have already happened, but that's what we do every game. Uh, so why is it you've got for the Queen here? What, why do you toast the Queen? Well, why are you laughing? She's I'm not, not laughing. Years old. She is 96 years old. Oh, Orlando man, City, good. started by Phil Rollins, Kay Rollins, From Inchi. Stoke. British, yeah. British born and bred. Our heart is British and... It belongs to the Queen then, yeah. You've missed it, but if you look here, yeah, there's we've set up a special little... Is this a, a demo? We're, we're going to do the whole thing for you. Oh, amazing, yeah. So you can volunteers for Scotch. Who wants to do a round? So we've got a, a shot of Scotch whiskey. Nice to meet you, Ellis. God save the Queen! God save the Queen! God bless our troops! God bless, God bless our, our troops. troops! This is our city! This, this is, is our city. city! To our absent friends. To our absent friends. And free fucking boys! Well, that is straight whiskey. It's nice. Very good. I like We're now walking into the ground. We're now about to go in. Um, we just filmed something very exciting for another video for next week. So we filmed two videos in one day. I'm not going to reveal anything about what it's about. But can we get 2,000 likes in this video? It's about a certain footballer. About a shirt, maybe. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to keep walking to the ground. And we'll um, see you inside. Now inside the stadium. The concourse is really cool. You've got like... Forever Orlando graffiti there. Jeff's now showing me to my seat. We're now about to walk down. So Jodie sat in there. You can see her waving in the distance. There is, there is Jodie. She stopped waving. Hello, hello. So Jodie's there, she's not an ultra tonight, sadly. Here come the players. And here comes the national anthem. It's also different. Interesting app you're using there, Jeff. It's wonderful. It's my, oh, he's on the bench, so he's uh, okay. Pato's on the bench. Um, on the bench. We don't talk about no free promo here. <laughs>
separation from the game a minute. So Jeff, is it just here or is it the whole MLS? Like, we're able to walk to any section now, right? So we can right. go anywhere in the stadium. Yep. No one can come to our section, but we can go to any section. So, and also they do ICs here. Yeah. So I want, I want an IC. There we go, we got an IC. I know people are gonna moan about this, but I, <laughs> I love these. <laughs> this is amazing. So for context, the Charlotte fans have to drive like over a thousand miles, I believe, to get here. That's them in that section over there waving their flashlights. And also this game is half seven, so it's like it's like Carlisle away for Plymouth, plus then some in England, so that, that's the equivalent. Um, and they're a new franchise, so that, that's the Charlotte fans over there. So an example of what I was talking about actually, about the fact we can walk around the stadium is, we were literally just stood over there in that section, and now we're here with, there she is, hello. How are you finding it? Number four. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. what, what, how does it compare to like, I'm taking you to like big European fixtures, how does it compare? It's a lot more friendly. Yeah? Yeah, like they don't need a net, they're away fans. Yeah, it's true. Hey Joe, what you know? So over there right. is the main Ruckus Ultras. And then the left is the ruckus kids. So they can still be involved, but they're not in danger. So in terms of half-time food, we've got a grilled brisket, grilled sirloin, or carved turkey sandwich, which looks, um, with, you get with, um, they call them chips, but we call them crisps. Half time, I've got this brisket sandwich. Jody has got a turkey sandwich. I could get used to eating this at half time, I'll be honest. They've got a pizza hut on the concourse. Okay, we've got this man here, and apparently he chugs drinks. How quick can you chug one? Pretty quick. Okay, go on then. I'm expecting big things here. That is very impressive. Good work. It's a penalty to Charlotte. He scored. Christian Fuchs. Premier League winner. Christian Fuchs there, he's just chilling. Premier League winner. Oh no, last attack of the game. Pato heads out, that's it. There's a lion running in across the pitch of the flag. <laughs> so what was an MLS experience like for me? I, I made it clear that this video was a normal away day. We're here to watch the football, but I also wanted to show what the experience is like here because I feel like it's the most patronized and looked down upon like culture in the world football. And what I've seen today is like, 
it's been amazing for equality. As I sit here in, in pride seats for LGBTQ, because um, as the stadium was opening, there was the horrible nightclub shooting at a um, uh, gay nightclub. And like, it just feels like everyone's united here. It doesn't matter where you're from, your religion, your race, your sexuality. And I get that we have that in England as well. I'm not trying to say we don't, but it feels like here it's celebrated more. And I feel like it, you can feel comfortable whoever you are. And I know you can get that in England as well. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm just saying the positives of being here. And like I've said before, me and Jody were saying to ourselves, like, if you go and like hear ultras in Hungary or anything, we've done Hungary, Romania this season. And to be honest, we did the Bucharest Derby in Romania. The atmosphere here was a bit better, to be honest. And I'm not just saying that to be like, oh, look at me, like, look at me trying to impress the American fans. I'm just saying what I experienced. And I had a great time. And the thing about football is I'm here as a tourist. I'm here to have fun. And I had fun today. And there's been some experiences this season in particular I haven't had fun at, at football. Um, I, just, I was able to have fun. Obviously, I'm really keen to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments on this. Now you've seen my video and my dis depiction of what an MLS game is like. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Can we get 2,000 likes in this video? I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt content and more away days. And I'll see you soon for another away day. Ciao, ciao. Bye.